Good morning and welcome to the daily message. It is a privilege to be back with you again today. And I want to start out by jumping right into uh, the scriptures to bring your attention from 2020, the year 2020, to the Hebrew calendar and how God set up a system of times and cycles with his people. And so I want to bring this up with you because we have just stepped in to this prophetic timeline. This is a system that's set up from old, but I want to encourage you that the Lord is calling us to pay attention to his times and seasons and not what our eyes have been on for this uh, past season. So let's just look at Numbers 29 verse 1. It says, in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work, For you, it is a day of blowing the trumpets. You shall offer a burnt offering as a sweet aroma to the Lord. And then I see in Leviticus 23, 23, it says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial, a blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. You shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. Well, I want to tell you that just days ago on September 19th, we stepped in to this date, the seventh month, the first day of the month, and that's known as the Feast of Trumpets. And this is the day that on the Hebrew calendar, they change the date, kind of like us, December 31st, and then January 1st, it goes from uh, 2019, it went to 2020. Well, this is that day on the Hebrew calendar where we turned from 5780, the year 5780 on the Hebrew calendar to 5781. So it is the new year. It's an agricultural cycle that God set up to follow, but it is the year that is the changing of the number. And I want to encourage you because I believe that the Lord is calling us to get our attention off of the things that we've had it on, the cycles and systems of the world and get them on the cycles and systems that he has set up for us. And so although we still... uh, follow the same calendar in the sense of what the date is, but we can kind of slip into what God is doing in the cycles that he has set up for us. And so we are in a new year. We entered into a new year. Some of you may have already known that. For those of you who didn't, I want to tell you, happy new year. We have exited one season and fully entered into a new season. And there were some things that this week that as I began to meditate on this and ask the Lord, what are you saying for the new year? What is your word to us in the season? He began to bring me in to some scriptures and speak some words to me. And let me just tell you the first thing he said to me regarding this year. He said, this year is a time to break out and break in, that the old is passing away and that the new is appearing. Old cycles will pass away and that new cycles and rhythms would begin in our life. Many of us have been declaring, praying, and believing some things would end in our life. You know, I don't know about you, but there are some things in my life and in my family history that I don't ever want to see again, that that cycle needs to end. That uh, reality of our family line or our our life, it could be lack, it could be uh, fear, it could be a number of things could be addiction, depression. There's these cycles that have been in our families. And I believe the Lord is saying, this is the year and this is the time where they will end. They will fully pass away and the new will appear. And we see this reality playing out all around us in so many ways. It's just such an amazing season that we've walked through, uh, through 2020. And now here we are. And I believe God is saying, Hey, You don't need to wait till the end of 2020 to enter in to a new new year, to get on my timeline, get in my rhythm, and I will cause the new to appear. Well, as I was praying, he brought me to this passage, and it's Deuteronomy 11, 11, and it says, but the land which you cross over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of heaven, a land for which the Lord your God cares The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it from the beginning of the year until the very end of the year. And as I read this, the Lord just highlighted this reality to me and began to declare to me that this year from the beginning, which just began September 19th, 2020, this new year switched on God's calendar. He said, from the beginning to the end of this year, my eyes are on 
your land. You know, and today, maybe you're watching and, and you're hearing this and you just feel like what's going on and what is happening. And I want to declare to you that the Lord, your God, loves you and his eyes are on your life on your circumstances. In fact, he has an aerial view. You know, you see what's happening, you know, what you can see with your own uh, eyes and the eyes of your heart, but God sees from a much higher vantage point. He says, my eyes are on your life. I have made provision for you. In fact, it says here in that passage from Deuteronomy, it says that, that in this land, see, we're crossing over. We're crossing over. Right now, someone needs to receive that you are crossing over. The children of Israel, who this was being spoken to, they were in the wilderness and they were crossing over into the promised land. And we who believe that Jesus has paid the price and we who have ears to hear in this season are crossing over. We are leaving some things behind. Like he said, old things are passing away. And some of us are grieving some of those old things. Or maybe some of the old things that aren't so obviously uh, bad. I mentioned addiction and depression and all those things. They may have be easy to say, yeah, I want those gone. But there's some things that are passing away because they're just part of um, the old system of how God has worked with you. And they are also passing away. And you're like, wait, I I like that. One of those things has been the um, gathering at uh, large campuses. You know, I, I attend or ha- did attend Anaheim campus of The Rock. Well, I'm still a part of The Rock. But I have a house church. And for me, I know God is saying, house churches, you're staying in house churches. I'm not waiting for the campus to open. That doesn't mean I won't ever be at the campus. I'm sure that I will, as I had. And I used to go to other rock campuses, and I will be going to those as well. But that house church is the model for me. And and so sometimes we're like, whoa, I, I don't know if I like that. Like, I liked that old thing. That's passing away. God's saying, I'm trying to bring you in to a new land. But I'm encouraged because... In this land, I'll tell you, this is the land which the Lord the, that the Lord cares for. The Lord cares for everything that's going on around you. He cares for the circumstances. He cares for your provision. He cares for everything. And he is declaring, I believe this Deuteronomy 11, 11 is the word of the Lord over our ministry, over our families, over all those who have ears to hear that it is indeed a new season, that we have just transitioned out of an old and into a new. This is the word of the Lord. He loves you. His He cares for your land. It says that the eyes of the Lord, your God, are always on it. He's not taking a nap. He's not looking around somewhere else. He's always paying attention to you, to your land, to your uh, provision, to the plans ahead. He's looking ahead. I told you he's got an aerial view. He sees much farther out than you and me. He sees what's coming. He saw what was coming and he made provision for it. He made plans for it. He has a plan for you and he will lead you. It also goes on to say here that uh, it says that this land drinks water from the rain of heaven. And I want to encourage you because this water statement is a big deal. It's it's life. It's how will we continue? How will the crops grow? This is an agricultural society that this was being written to. And so some of us who just, you know, water comes out of the spigot, you know, it all just comes. We don't even think about that stuff, but this would have been a big deal, big word right here. He was saying, listen, you're not going to have to dig wells. You're not going to be afraid of drought, but this land is going to receive water from heaven. Did you hear that? From The rain from heaven, God's going to provide God's going to give you everything you need. He's going to give you all the provision you need. That the days of you toiling, come on, someone needs to say, my days of toiling are over. Come on, my days of toiling are over. I am entering in to the land that God has prepared for me. Are you coming? Come on, let's enter in by faith today. He is going to provide everything. He's made provision for everything. He's got a plan for everything. And you don't have to be afraid. Well, what if so and so is not making it. Some of you may feel like, but my spouse isn't on the same page. They're just uh, don't feel like you gotta wait. Believe God. Just continue to enter in by faith and watch and see how He'll bring your precious family along. He can do what can't be done. He is the God whose eyes are on you from the beginning of the year. I love that it said this that the Lord showed me. It says, from the beginning of the year to the very end of the year. I want to encourage you. Come on, we're stepping into this new season, but I want to encourage you. 
It's not going to just be a week. It's not going to be a short season. It's not coming up ahead. It's now. Okay. His eyes are on you. He cares for this land that he's bringing into you, this new way, whatever that looks like. Don't let others define it for you. Ask the Lord to define your land, to give you your inheritance, what he has for you. Not what others say that is the new normal. Let me tell you, we do have a new normal, but not what the world says. I want a new normal. I want a supernatural. That's what I want to be normal. And I want God to define it. I want him to tell me and I want him to tell you, he's going to show you a land that he cares for and his eyes are going to be on it. And you will not be sorry that you followed him in and crossed over into this land to possess. Well, oh, I just want to tell you, may the Lord bless you and keep you in this year. I know that he will. And I pray that your faith is rising right now and that you are receiving what he has for you. Let me pray for you before we close out this morning. Well, Father, we thank you. I thank you. And I come with my brothers and sisters in Christ, all of those at the sound of my voice. We come before you. We thank you that you are leading us, guiding us, bringing us into a new season. We allow, we accept the closure of old system cycles, the good and the bad. And we declare that the new is appearing, that the new land with hills and valleys, it's it's lush and green. It's a great life that you have for us. Even in the midst of difficulties, even in the midst of, of trials, we will experience goodness, strength, and provision. We receive your word today and declare that your eyes will be upon everything we touch from the beginning of this year all the way to the end. And we will declare that you are good and your mercy endures forever. So I bless those that have joined me this morning. And I thank you and I ask that you would manifest these realities to them in every area of their life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Thank you for watching today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. And if you'd like to start a house church, either with The Rock, a four square church, or with Solid Lives, our global discipleship and church planning ministry, go to one of those websites. Go to therock.com for The Rock or solidlives.com for Solid Lives. Click on House Churches and fill out the interest form. We'd love to partner with you to advance the kingdom of God.